Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. You might be thinking, Rhoda, don't you think your lips are too large? Well, they, they're rather large tonight, but it's a phase I'm going through. I hope everyone is doing okay. I hope everyone is exercising care. Okay, I want to demonstrate to you. These are one, two, three, four tomato plants that I planted out of my tomatoes, you know, that I bought at the grocery store. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six flowers. Uh, I, I can't bring my stuff in the house because I cracked this lemon half. I, I don't know if it's gonna survive, but um, I have tons of plants at this point, so. Um, I'll get into that, but I just, maybe I'll pull one of my uh, onions out. Let's see what happened. Oh, this is a pretty good looking little onion. I will eat it. Not tonight. Tomorrow. I grew that. I don't know if I planted like, I don't know how they happened, but I have two, four, five counting that one. And a couple little plants have have sprouted so you don't have to buy any special anything just get dirt just get seeds out of your plants and and plant them. so that's that see this is the plant that I broke I, I will try to fix it but I did this one other time and it wasn't successful okay so that that is the tomato plant plants okay so now I made a really really good dinner Oh, and this little guy, I, I planted this out of my seeds. Not sure what it is, but, you know, we'll find out in time. So I made some chamomile tea, four cups. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to consume as much citrus as I can by, um, you know, squirting my lemon juice I've been buying all kinds of lemons out here I can get them really cheap at 99 cent only and then I'm having uh, grapefruit juice I, I got a good finally got grapefruit two dollars for a pretty big bag at 99 cent only and uh, believe it or not a grapefruit does not generate that much um, juice only about a half a cup And then what I put in it is tonic water. And that's a pretty tasty little drink. Uh, that milk tea I, I made last night was really, really good. And then if there's any seeds, I save them. And I'm trying to generate uh, citrus trees. Look, here's all my seeds. I got apple, I got lemon, I got grapefruit. Well, anything that I got, I save the uh, seeds. This stuff is not like Diet Coke. It will last you for a while. I usually go about half and half. Okay, so I made a really, really delicious meal. This is one of my good ones. I've made it before, but not for a long time. And so what I made was, I made some uh, cabbage rolls. And my, my recipe is easy, and it comes down through the generations and it is super delicious and it is very cost effective take a look at this and it was good because it was everything i had and uh it's really easy to make okay now let me tell you Okay, I bought a lot of hamburger at Walmart that was partially soy. For this kind of stuff, that is good. And I had um, four of these, so that was good, so I could use up my sausage. So you need one and one half pounds of ground beef. I just use one um, hamburger patty because it makes a lot. One quarter pound pork sausage. I had four links. And I fried them, and when I was watching the cooking channel, the guy said, make sure you really mince your hamburger fine. And I started doing that. It tastes so much better, you guys. 
one cup rice Uncle Ben's converted parboiled. I just parboiled my own rice. And uh, you want a stockpile of rice. So I had a little bag and I had this, this rice that I bought for um, 50 cents. So if you stockpile rice, that's really going to come in handy. Salt, pepper, two, two vegetable beef bouillon. So what I had is I had this stuff and I'm trying to find vegetable um, bouillon, but they're out of it everywhere I go. But as soon as I can, I will pile up a whole bunch. Two cups boiling water, because you're making two cups of, of vegetable bouillon. I think you could use any kind you had. One large cup um, cabbage. And what I did is I just um, steam. I pulled the leaves off and I steamed them. Not too well done, because I didn't want my uh, stuff soggy and one eight ounce can of tomatoes. Mix first five ingredients by tossing or cutting with fork. Dissolve bouillon cubes in boiling water and set aside. Wilt cabbage in a kettle with sieve section in boiling water. Cut each leaf separately at the base. Drain and place individual leaves on a cutting board. Place a large spoonful of meat and rice mixture on the leaf. Roll up like an envelope and fasten with the toothpick. I didn't do that. I just rolled mine up like little burritos, best as I could. And if I had extra um, hamburger and rice and sausage mixture with the salt and pepper, I just crammed some little ones in there. No wasting. Okay, place in a medium sized roasting pan, pour over bouillon solution and cover. Bake 325 one hour, add water if needed. Mine didn't need any. Heat tomato sauce, use when serving, mix 20 cabbage rolls. So this is a good old recipe and it makes a lot and is really, really good. The recipe was used by my grandmother Camille Kapach and probably has been used in her family for 100 years. We came from North Dakota and grandmother from France. She was a member of the University Avenue Church of the Nazarene while in San Diego until she went to be with Jesus. So her recipe is enduring like my grandmother's recipe. And the thing about this, this is the tried and true and, and, you know, it was tasty enough that people were making it for, for 100 years. So now. So mine are kind of little. Uh, you can make them any size you want them. Yummy, you guys. These are tasty. Owie, owie, owie. So I hope you guys try this one because we're going to get into that in one minute. Mm. I'm going to let them cool just a minute because they're really, 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 really hot. Okay, now let me give you a quick shot of this. Try this. You'll really like it and it's really easy. All you need is hamburger sausage and rice some beef bouillon and some tomato sauce that's it all right now at how many minutes am i i'm trying to keep these things short okay just a little bit okay so what i'm preparing for is a depression we could be in a recession depression as we speak so i'm preparing and the main thing i'm doing is um, food storage I'm preparing for um, a famine, just in case. And the thing that needs to be known is if there's food shortages, those, those food pantry lines could be long, and then, you know, they could even run out. A second wave for the corona. I can't believe people are getting in these huge crowds. I, I, it just amazes me. 
I'm preparing for chaos, riots, looting, and fire. And you go, well, why are you so paranoid? Go to La Mesa, California uh, protests and take a look. That was like one block from my house. It was fire. It was mayhem. It was, you know, it's like a nightmare. It's like, this is not happening. Yeah, it happened. And I'm preparing for fires, you know, big fires and evacuation. I'm preparing to evacuate food, water, gas, and cash. Okay, so that's enough said on that. Okay, so I just want to mention a little bit about the stockpiling. Um, like when I, I you, there's ways to approach it, but like if I do a grocery list, it's milk, bread, eggs, cheese, margarine, oil. Okay, meat, potatoes and rice, sweet potatoes, vegetables, and fruit. Breakfast would be cereal and milk, sandwich and fruit for lunch, and seven cheap dinners like this. It's meat, it's carb, it's um, vegetables. Then uh, for, for um, dessert, I have fruit. I've been doing this. This is not bad. You know, if you're trying to get off the sugar, the sugar thing, uh, fruit any kind I have I just happen to have avocados and cheese at night and I drink Diet Coke and and uh, so I have cheese I have fruit and I have yogurt okay, so that that's like the meals you can do it by meals so in my freezer I want to pack my freezer full of Hamburger, sausage, hot dogs, um, chicken, and uh, bacon. And so I have, uh, and so now I want to mention what I'm stocking. Mask, gloves, toilet paper, meat, and eggs, because a couple times those were low. Bath soap, dish soap, laundry, detergent, coins. How about when our bank was burned up? wipes, hand wipes, hand sanitizers, alcohol. And, and the other thing I wanted, you know, I was planning on retiring and I thought that is not smart. What we all need to do is we need jobs and we need to work as much as we can until the end of the year. Uh, one method would be uh, work all week and add 10, to 10 hours a day on the weekends. That's gonna give you 20 and then you're going to divide your five days by um, by 20, which would give you four hours, four extra hours somewhere. That could be home home thing like um, eBay or YouTube. Uh, this I sold this necklace, and uh, the person hasn't sold, sent the money. But um, if you guys remember those white boots, after like I I didn't think they were going to send the money. It was like a month. And I sold them, and then they sent the money, so I'll never do that again. So I sold two of these, if that gives you any idea. And then I'm selling this. You guys have seen this. This is really pretty. It's made in Italy. And I reduced. This is my own watch. I'm not selling it. It's a Lotus watch. I love it. All right. So I'm going back to work. Um, I didn't work during the first phase because I was paranoid I was going to catch the corona, but I realized I could go to um, another city that had a lower incidence of corona. So I had seven cheap me meals, a meatless meal, breakfast like bacon and sausage with eggs, hamburger meals, hot dogs, fish like tuna or fish sticks, Mexican and Italian. And then I have desserts. Root beer float, banana splits, peach cobbler, strawberry shortcake, watermelon, fruit and yogurt, smoothies, and pineapple upside down cake. So now, so what are we going to do? Well, for one thing, we're going to taste this. Now let me taste this. This is good. You guys got to make this. You will love it. Okay, so right now, until the end of the year, start eating all your food down. Just like 
most of it has stockpiled a lot of food, so just start eating it down. Just like the only thing I had to buy for this was the cabbage. And then when you buy food, buy food that you can that is storable or freezeable. So sausage is freezeable, hamburger is um, is freezeable, rice is storable, tomato sauce is storable. So you can also, as you eat it, buy more. But if you have more, don't 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 buy it. Start eating all your food down and then buy food that can either be stored or frozen. Try to start a year-round garden. Okay, when I first started this, I was very unsuccessful. And one of the followers told me, water your garden twice a day. So I was killing my garden. I was like, you know, not watering it. Okay, find the cheapest price on items you eat and drink all the time. One thing we're apt to run out of is bleach. And I found the big ones at 99 cent only, so I bought one. And then I bought this laundry detergent. You don't want to run out of, I gotta be careful with my onion. You, you don't want to run out of, of laundry detergent or bath soap. I'll be picking those up. Okay, and then I found the tonic water and I found the Diet Coke for 75 cents. So these can be all the way up to $1.60, so you would get two for the price of one. And these are about $1.25, so you would get, um, for every uh, five, you would get one free. So, you know, it really start thinking about percents. And then I bought this cake because, you know, uh, cupcakes, um, I bought this for 88 cents at Walmart. I make those um, cookies out of cake mix, and this will make a good pineapple upside down cake. And then I was at 99 cent only, and lo and behold, they had, okay, this one's Remmel. These were a dollar, Remmel. This one is, um, not sure what this brand is, but it's really good, look at this for a dollar and then I got uh, this two L'Oreal lipstick so for five dollars I got five uh, this will first of all I have a lot of lipstick but this much lipstick is going to keep you and I got like red uh, nude pink orange and uh, a purple lilac so that much uh, lipstick is going to last me for a long time. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I almost forgot, I pray for you guys at night. It's not an easy time, and it's a dangerous time. It's a real dangerous time. Either, either there's the coronavirus out there, and we're headed for a severe second wave or they were full of crap and there was no coronavirus. Either way, we could be devastated financially. So my suggestion is just to start working. When I was young, I told my son, I knew I had to work. I told my son, I knew I would literally die if I didn't have a job. So it's things have not changed. This is not a minor problem. This is not a minor solution. Be smart and pray to God and, and the answers will come. Um, if you want to see what I do on my uh, resale bi business, go to Rotostone Instagram and then I put all the recipes on um, Twitter. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe and God bless you all.